Hello and welcome to Peggy's Plants, coming to you from the Florida Keys with a video on how to cut holes in glass so that you can grow your plants in LECA using a glass cylinder. In my last video, I showed how I grow many of my house plants and orchids in glass cylinders in LECA pellets. Many of you were very interested in the process and surprised at how easy it was. So you expressed an interest in wanting to do the same for yourself. The stumbling block seemed to be how to get the holes in the glass cylinder. These holes are needed to flush the cylinder and also help to avoid root rot. I'll put a link to that video at the end of this video. Here are the supplies you'll need for this project. You'll need a pair of safety goggles, a glass cylinder like this one I purchased from Dollar Tree. You'll need a power drill with a fresh battery. If your battery is not fresh, your bit will spin slower and it makes it much harder to cut the glass. You'll need a piece of paper towel, to dry up any messes and most importantly you're going to need some diamond drill bits this is a set that i purchased on amazon you can find these at any hardware store you can purchase just a drill bit of a certain size or you can purchase the whole package now one thing to consider when purchasing your drill bit is the size of your clay pellet your leca pellet if you're using very small pellets, you of course do not want to cut a large hole because your pellets will fall out through the hole. Lastly, I recommend that you have access to water. Um, the water is used to rinse any debris from your cylinder and also while you're working on it, anything that falls, falls from it, any fine glass particles will fall into the sink and you'll be able to rinse them away. I also read when doing research on how to cut glass that it is possible for your drill bit to generate enough friction to cause enough heat to break your glass. I've never had anything like that happen. I have actually cut glass without using any water at all and didn't have a problem. However, I do want to make you aware that that is a possibility. I'm just sharing with you the method I use to cut glass. If you decide to use this method also, please proceed at your own risk. So now that I have all my supplies, I'm going to put on my safety goggles and get started. I've selected the drill bit that I'm going to use. So now I'm going to take it and put it in my drill and tighten it so that it stays in place. I have a fresh battery, so I'm ready to start. I switched to voiceover so that I could be heard over the sound of the drill. First, you're gonna place the drill about between a quarter and one third of the way from the bottom. You're gonna put the, the um, drill at an angle and just start the drill. You're gonna, it's going to slip a little bit until you get a little nick in the glass. So can expect it to slide around a little bit. Once you get the whole the hang of this, it'll be very easy for you. In the beginning, I had the hardest time. And this is when sometimes people will put tape on the side to hold the drill in place some, but it didn't work well for me either. Um, now I'm just rinsing off some of the dust so I can see what I'm working with. And now that I have a little bit of an indentation in this glass, I'm going to continue to put my drill at an angle and keep going until the groove is a little larger. Initially, what you're doing is just using the side of the drill bit to get a little bit of a nick in the glass. Once you have that, it'll hold your drill bit in place and you can start slowly bringing the drill bit up so that more of the drill bit comes in contact with the glass. As you can see, every now and then, you should expect your drill to slip off of the glass. Initially, you're probably going to have a very hard time getting the drill to stay in contact with the glass. I've been doing this for a little while, so I'm, I, I'm a lot better than I used to be with it, um, but you'll get there. 
Now, you're going to need to use a little pressure, but not too much pressure. The pressure thing is kind of tricky. If you find that you're not making any progress, you're not using enough pressure. You'll actually be surprised how much pressure this glass can take. You don't want to use how, too much pressure, however, because you're not trying to break the glass. You want the drill bit to do the work. The long, um, as you make progress, you, as you see now, my entire tip of the drill bit, I have formed a circle here. The entire tip of the drill bit is in contact with the glass now. And that groove is helping to keep my um, drill bit in place. Now you can hear the difference when the glass initially breaks. You just listen, it's gonna sound a little bit different. And once you hit that point, you're gonna slow down just a little bit with your drill speed. Now you do have to be patient with this. I would say that it takes me about a minute and a half to two minutes to get a hole in a cylinder um, without rushing it too much. When I first started, I would say it took me well over five minutes to do one hole. And you'll see me rotate the drill head just a little bit. And what I'm trying to do is even out the hole. Um, because remember, we started with one side of the drill on one part. And that part of the hole is much deeper than the rest of it. So I just try to rotate it a little bit to try and even things out. And eventually you're going to hear the, uh, like a crushing sound. And that means you have broken through at least on one side of the glass. I can tell by the sound of this that we're almost through. And eventually, after you've done this enough, you'll be able, there we go, you'll be able to tell too. It's just, you can't really hear it on the recording, but there's like a little crushing sound when it's breaking through. So there we are. We have the hole in the glass. And if I wasn't showing you all and trying to go a little slower, we could have moved a little bit faster. Don't rush it in the beginning because that's a sure, if you put too much pressure, your hole is gonna come out with a lot of broke breakage around it. Now I've just gone and dumped the cylinder in the trash in case the disc that was cut out was in the cylinder. And then you also wanna check inside your drill bit head because sometimes that piece that gets cut out gets stuck in there. Now I'm just rinsing my, my cutting, my vessel so that I can get any powdery shards of glass out of this container. And I'm going to wipe around the hole to make sure that any of the dust that was generated is also removed. And don't forget to rinse the sink down thoroughly. And that's about it. Now you have your glass vessel with a hole so that you can grow your orchids and house plants in LECA using the method that I use. So if you did not see my step-by-step -step video on how this is done, there will be a link at the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate all of your support for my channel. Take care. Hope to see you next time. Stay well. Bye-bye.